Life Audio. Hey friends, welcome to the Hearing Jesus for Kids podcast. Do you ever feel like you want to know more about the Bible, but that it's kind of hard to understand? Do you want to share your faith with your friends, but have a hard time figuring out how to do that? Do you want to learn how to connect the Bible to your real life? Well, then this is the show for you. My name is Rachel, and I'm your host. I've been a children's pastor for a long time, and one of my favorite things is helping kids learn how to understand the Bible. I think that sometimes people think that the Bible is just for adults, but God actually really wants kids to know about Him. So on this podcast, we're going to learn all about God's big story and how He shows Himself to us through the Bible. As we learn together what the Bible stories actually mean, we can learn how to live out our faith in our everyday life. Hey friends, welcome back to the Hearing Jesus for Kids podcast. I'm your host, Rachel. Have you ever been to a place where kids were not allowed? You know, that happened to me once. We went to a restaurant one time with my kids and we were told they had really good pizza there. So we went in and we sat down at the table and we were looking at the menu to try and decide which kind of pizza we wanted. And a waitress came up and she told us that there was a pizza place right down the road that might be a better fit for us. And I kind of looked around, really not knowing what she meant. And I said, oh, well, we wanted to get pizza here. And she said, well, there's a place down the road that I think would be a better fit for you. And I looked around and there was nobody else even in the restaurant. I said, are you not open? She said, we're open. And I said, well, what's the problem? And she said, oh, well, we don't allow children here. And I looked over at my three daughters who were being very well behaved. They were coloring in their coloring books that we brought from home. They were being very quiet, very well behaved. And I said, you mean to tell me that you would rather us not be here than to buy pizza? And she just kind of looked at me and she said, there's a place down the road that would be a better fit for you. And so we packed up and we went to that place down the road and we've never been back to that restaurant And I can tell you that it felt really gross to be in a place where my kids were not welcome. And you know me as a children's pastor, I love kids. And it really broke my heart that there are some people that just don't want kids around. Well, that's kind of what happened in our Bible story for today. In Matthew chapter 19, verse 13, it says, Then some children were brought to him, talking about Jesus, so that he could lay his hands on them and pray. And the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, leave the children alone and do not forbid them to come to me for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. After laying his hands on them, he departed from there. See, people were bringing their children to Jesus so they could have them prayed for so he could give them a hug and a high five and talk to them. But the disciples tried to keep the children away from Jesus. And Jesus said, absolutely not. Let them come here. Jesus loves kids. You know, and as Jesus traveled from city to city, he taught people about God's love and God's kindness. Many times his special helpers traveled with him. And in one town, when everyone was listening to Jesus, he told them about God. The parents in the crowd brought their children to see Jesus because they wanted Jesus to bless their children. And Jesus's friends thought that there was more important things for Jesus to do. They told the parents to take the kids away and not to bother Jesus. And when Jesus saw what was going on, he told his friends to let the children come to me and don't stop them. The children ran to Jesus. He took them into his arms and he asked God to care for them. And when Jesus told his friends to let the children always come to him, he was showing how much he cares for kids. He was also showing how much God loves children and wants to be in a special relationship with them. At first, Jesus' friends did not love or respect the parents or children. They were more concerned about other things that were going on. But Jesus helped them to see that they should love and respect everyone because everyone is important to God. They learned a big lesson that day about caring for all people. Remember, God cares for all people. John 3.16 tells us that God showed his love for the world by sending Jesus to earth. God knew that when Jesus was on earth, angry men would kill him. But God had a plan, a rescue plan. It was a plan to show even more love to more people. And Jesus took our punishment for the wrong things that we do when he died on a cross. 
Three days after Jesus died, God made him alive again. He wasn't dead. He was alive. And because of what Jesus did, God can now forgive our wrongs. If you really believe that God sent Jesus to die and to live again, and if you tell him about the wrong things that you have done and ask him to forgive you, that he will make you a part of his forever family. And as a member of God's forever family, you need to talk with him each day. If you do something wrong, you're still part of the family, but you need to ask him to forgive you and he will. Why? Because remember, God cares for you and he thinks that you are so special. God loves kids. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for the way that your word shows us over and over again how much you love kids. God, help us to remember in those moments that we feel like we've messed up or that even the adults in our lives don't recognize it. Help us to remember this story. Help us to remember that Jesus says, always let the kids come to me. He wants to have a relationship with kids. And God, we thank you so much that we can see your love for kids through the pages of the scriptures. God, in those moments where my friends may not feel loved, would you remind them that you love them so much that you sent Jesus as the rescue plan? God, I thank you and I praise you that you love kids so, so much and that we can rest in the knowledge that we can never go anywhere where your love is not chasing us down. God, I pray for my friends that you would protect them today. You would protect their hearts and their minds and their spirits and their bodies. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends, thanks for listening. Hey, friends, thanks for listening to the Hearing Jesus for Kids podcast. If you like today's show, I would love it if you would head over to Apple Podcasts and leave a review. That's the number one way you can support this show. If you're wanting to dive a little bit deeper, you can also join our Patreon community to get our family discussion guides, join our private discussion groups, and have access to bonus content and additional resources every month. Hey, I'm praying for you today. Know that you are so loved.